Okay, so this little guy broke out. This is badass. So he's a male that left there and jumped in the female's pen. He kind of patrols his own area. He's kind of a stud. Okay, but there's so big ones right here. These are all males to be butchered. These are all going to be meat birds, mostly. But we'll keep some of the better ones. See how he is now. Watch you get down in there with all the girls. Go film this. All they're going to do is just So all those are little hens. And see, so he kind of is like the king dog back there. And he kind of, they look after him and he's like the daddy. I kind of like him a lot. So he's not going anywhere. And he's kind of cool. So then there's other, those are older females, specialty breeds. And then up there, there's a whole bunch of baby females up there. And you got a bunch of little dinosaurs. Dinosaurs, don't do it. Why don't you watch the boys fight? Like yeah. in this pen here to your right, and that's the big ones. Mm -hmm. These boys are square off. Look at that one right there standing on the feeder. Look how mm -hmm. big he is. Compared to the little hens that are the same age. And what are these guys? They're rangers, and then there's orbitons. But look how the big boys are coming forward. Don't they look like, look at them. Look at them getting yeah. ready to fight. <laughs> yeah, they're biting each other on the face. And they spar, and it's so funny. It, it doesn't usually smell that right, but it's really the worst of it. Plus, it's warm there. That's so cool. I do this. That's a little chicken. So this, when I see you next, will all be in the garage. Oh, so when I say, guys, I got room. Yeah. I need, I got tanks that are sitting empty so that tub can go here. I can manage it. Mm. Danny needs help. You help my brother. You force, say, Dan, I'm gonna start. Okay, so we're gonna do another April update on the fish. Uh, we got kind of a little bit to talk about. But so I've sectioned off some water spray. I just got my rock wool and my pots. Um, but so I'm getting my aquariums more and more uniform. I just want them all to match and be very similar. I might have different filtration systems on them just to try out which filtration systems work the best in my opinion. Uh, but the fry in here are doing pretty good. I haven't lost any. I think I... Uh, still have at least 13, maybe I lost two of them, uh, but then over here, this one's doing pretty good too, these guys, but uh, I just got this heater on Amazon, I like being able to uh, control the temperature. And so I'm going to swap that out with that one, because that one's just set. And then I need to do another water change on this aquarium. Um, but I got them almost both on sponge filters now. The, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a sponge filter on this one. I'm just seeding this one, and I'm going to cycle this terrarium filter out. There's no point, and then I'm going to get another light. The key to making money off of your hobby is uh, only dump money into it when you have the money to dump into it. You know? Take your time. Yeah, you can see all the fry coming out now. They're all over the place. But, uh, it's just shrimp in this one right now. Just some shrimp, but so after this purchase, all of the, uh, well these two aquariums, aquarium A and aquarium B are uh, gonna be on the same heater system. Separate filtration systems, but with sponge filters. Um, Mr. Snow. Um, but in my next video, I think um, I'm going to have to cut this video into two separate time sections because I'm right about to go on vacation and do a uh, tattoo convention in Springfield, Missouri. 
and uh, so I'm gonna be recording during then. But check out my vlog, and I'll leave a link to that in the description. But uh, that will have. Uh, I'll definitely upload the video or videos of the convention because it's gonna be a fun, super fun experience. Um, next purchase is to buy another one of these lights. They're like 10 bucks on Amazon. Not fucking bad. Awesome. Bunch of different kinds of LEDs. Drives the plants really nice. I recommend CO2 though. But, uh, after I get back from vacation, I'm going to completely renovate this aquarium and that aquarium. Um, give it more room to grow some stuff and uh, just rescape it, clean it up a little bit. I'm going to get rid of this big rock because I know for a fact there's a bunch of stuff hiding underneath it. Um, but yeah, on to a separate topic. I have I placed an order with Aquarium Co-op, and that's where I got both of these sponges from as well. Okay, for their three-part medical or medication, I got another with my order. It's like forty bucks. It's like 40, it's like almost 50 bucks after tax, but you get all these meds. So this is the first thing that you get with it. X. One second, I'm gonna just cut that open. Sorry, I'm using one hand, if you couldn't tell. If you couldn't tell, your parents should not have bred. Okay, let's see if we can. All right, treats ick, treats velvet, gold dust disease, treats saprolaginosis, treats trichinodalamalysis or whatever. I don't know. I'm not gonna read all that. Okay, super gay. Whatever. Buy it. Aquarium co-op. Buy it, and then you can freaking read it. Um. So that. That. I just got this too. A little big for a 10 gallon aquarium but once I start producing a bunch of fry from guppies then might as well um, I actually start breeding fish see now you can see all the guppies I actually start breeding fish and making money off of it you really need to uh, just treat it as a hobby and whenever you have a couple extra bucks here and there just buy some more shit um, Okay, but so the next one that you get in the $50 thing is a general cure. Treats parasitic fish disease. I mean, it's a wide variety of parasites, gill and skin flukes, swollen abdomen, wasting disease, and hole in head. That's a great fucking, that's good to have. If your fish are fucking up, this is what you want, you know what I mean? So. All right, and then the last one that you get in this package is the EM erythromycin. And that helps with fin and tail rot, gill disease, mouth fungus, open red sores. Now the mouse, mouth fungus is something that is actually very common in tilapia, which is what we will eventually start breeding once we get all that together. All right, but, uh, thanks. For it's perfect for breeders. 
through uh, good stuff with crevices. That's my boot for comparison. To uh, hide the uh, <coughs> fry, but we got a bunch of them designed like that. Um, Two dollars per pound. This shit's heavy, but that's a good price. And then we're gonna start selling driftwood as well once uh, we harvest enough of it to uh, treat it and shit. But okay, stay tuned. Where in the world could you buy something like this for like four bucks? You can't. This shit's dope. Longhouse Incorporated. AVL. You want cichlids? We're the plug. We got convicts, Africans, and peacocks. We got all kinds. They got fins, and they like water. You want that shit? We got it. Hit us up. Longhouse Incorporated, AVL Department.